Hi people, it's Nick here, and we're looking at Leander on the Commodore Amiga, developed by Traveller's Tales and published by Psygnosis in 1991. Also come out on the Atari ST and the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. Quite an understated game this one, but um, definitely looks like one of the Psygnosis games. Come out shortly after Shadow of the Beast, and I don't think it's quite as good, but uh, it is influenced uh, by it. Essentially, you control a knight called Leander. Uh, he must defeat a wizard at the end of this called Thanatos. Sounds a bit like Thanos, really. And then rescue the princess Lucana, I believe. This chap here with the long hair is telling you what to do, but essentially when you break it down, it's three worlds over seven levels. You must collect coins, which you can um, buy an upgrade in a shop, which appears every now and again as I control this fellow. Leander, his name. I think I mentioned it. Yes, but basically you have to collect um, an item from one bit, from one part of the map, and then take it to a teleport and get off that stage. Yes, very nice music on this. You have a choice of music or sound effects, but you can't have the two together. Oh, I've just blown myself up there, which is a bit of a shame. You can fire bombs and you... Well, you start off with this rather slashy weapon. It's okay, this game, but it doesn't really blow my socks off. Um, some would uh, consider this a uh, classic. What it does is quite well, but um, it seems pretty standard for Psygnosis Fair. And I think uh, Shadow of the Beast 2 is a lot better. But uh, you might uh, disagree with me. So let's see how far we get. I uh, haven't really donated a lot of my time to uh, this one. Can't really remember what I'm doing. And I think that it shows. See, you know, that's very psychosis, isn't it? Arrows through the uh, floor or what have you. Now the backgrounds look um, good. It looks like it's made with the same sort of engine as Shadow of the Beast 2. Except the main character, the graphics are okay, but they're not as good as the background. Could have done with a bit darker shading on it, I think. So we must find an object, and then we must reach a portal. Now, if you're paying attention at the start of this stage, it said go west to find the uh, teleport key, then go east to um, exit. Was that what it said? I don't know. Vice versa, either one of the two, but that's what I'm doing. The jumping is a bit floaty, but that's not too bad. A lot of games were. Right, here we go. I'd like to have sound effects and music at the same time, but you can't have everything. Oops. Hmm. I was expecting the key to be there. I think we have to find a cave, don't we? Very good. So I'd like to like this game more, really, but it, it bores me ever so slightly. As I say, some people, it's their favourite Commodore Amiga game. Not me, though. I'm not going to slag it off, because what it does is quite well. It just doesn't grip me. Go on, Leander. Oh, dear, he's dead. Now, you might have noticed I've got a cheat on this. I've got unlimited lives, which is a bit of luck. I think you've got a choice of lives at the start, maximum of about five in the game options menu. Right, so there's the key, but I've got it on unlimited just so I can show you at least the first level of World 1. But if you bought this, it would have given you good value for money. There's quite a lot to do, quite a lot to solve, so you wouldn't have done it all in a week or so. This knight seems to be changing colour every now and again. I think that's according to what energy I've got left. Hmm, who's this bloke with an axe? Not going to grind it on my head. Where is the cave? I can't remember. Well, I'm going to die in a minute, I think. It's my energy level along the bottom there, you probably noticed. Do you know where the cave is, sir? No, he just seems... He's not going to turn around, is he, this bloke? Whoops, on to spikes. That's never a good idea in any game. Boom! Right, that's him dead. Hmm, I don't seem to be able to jump on this ledge to the right without jumping up here. Unless I can do some sort of trickery here, can I? Oh, oh, oh dear. Now, the enemies do um, regenerate after you kill them after a short space of time. So, basically, don't once you kill something, don't hang around because it will turn up again. Yeah, just playing this game, there's the portal, we haven't collected the object yet, so we can't get out. But playing this game just makes me want to play Shadow of the Beast 2 instead. If you had both of these games, I don't think Leander would be played very often, to be fair. Do you prefer Shadow of the Beast 2 to this, or do you prefer this? Hmm, I'm definitely in the Shadow of the Beast 2 camp, I think. Haven't seen the Atari ST version, or the Mega Drive or Genesis version, but I presume it plays similar. 
If it doesn't, comment below, let me know. I don't know what the wizard Thanatos looks like or what you have to how you have to kill him at the end. But at the end of each world there is a different end of level boss. Nice gentle music here. Doesn't use pan pipes as much as other Psygnosis music. I think Agony has got some funky music as well. That's a if you haven't seen Agony, have a look at that, I've reviewed it. It's like um a 2D horizontal scrolling shooter, so instead of a normal spaceship or something to control, you're flying an owl. That is pretty cool. Right, where's this teleport key? Where's the cave? Where is it? So this music just happily loops around the whole time. Boom! So this game didn't come out on the Spectrum, although Shadow of the Beast did, interestingly enough. And they made a pretty good job on the ZX Spectrum of Shadow of the Beast, which I have also reviewed. I've reviewed quite a lot of games now. Who'd have funk it? Boom! No, that's a dead end, that's going nowhere. Now, in the store, which periodically um, turns up, using these coins that I'm collecting, you can buy different weapons, although they don't seem to make too much of a difference to the destructive power of how far you can advance. Is it a pity, really? That could have been a good thing. I don't think those spikes on the bridge are going to uh, get me, but attention to detail. I like the way the um, the bridge, the wood bridge as you go over it, um, deviates ever so slightly with the character's weight. I've gone green. Right, I think the cave might be along here. Oh, what's this, a bobbin or something? There's the cave, I think, I hope. B jump. There we go, right, down, fire. Right, I'm in. I think. Here we go. Nice graphics on the waterfall there, nice touch. Oops, killed by a bat. I don't think you can kill those bat things. Whoops. Oh yes, I, uh... <laughs> I'm absolutely hopeless at this game. Yeah, there's a... T <laughs> Oh dear, I'm laughing at my own rubbishness. Right, there's the key. Right, we've got the teleport key. Now get to that teleport I showed you earlier on. God, this is painful. He's wearing the same costume as that Marvin the Martian from Disney. I'm not sure what games involve Marvin the Martian. Let me know. I know Mickey Mouse has got quite a few games connected to him. Marvin the Martian? Not sure. Right, come on. We're making heavy work of this. Look, that bloke's regenerated. Over these arrows. Oops. How many times have I died so far? This is pathetic. But the game is pretty good. It won't come in the top three, I'm not sh I don't think. But who knows? I tend to go a bit on my experience of the game in the comments below as well. So I do take that into, into account. So if you really like this game, really hate this game, tell me what you think below. Right, eh? that wasn't done in record time, now we're on stage two, which we probably won't do all of it, but we'll just do a little bit of it. See what this offers. The graphics look roughly the same on this, but they do change considerably from world to world. Here he goes. Come on, Leander. An interesting name, that. Oh, I don't seem to be able to jump on that ledge, and to the right there's spikes. So how do I get up there? Um, don't know. Oh, what's this? There's a horse and cart. Well, this'll do us. We could probably... Yeah, cool, that's great. That's the best bit in the game. Excellent. I love that horse. Right, I'll jump up here. Thanks, horsey. He's walked past the spikes, has he? How comes I couldn't? How comes I couldn't walk past the spikes and the horse could? Oh, I don't like this. Oops. Yeah. I'm going over here with a bit of a cavalier attitude. The attitude of someone that's got infinite lives, I think. So, if I made this video two hours long, probably through my own um, invincibility, or we'll it up there, my own invincibility, I'll probably complete the game. But um, this is just supposed to be a short review, really. So, what can we say? Music, good. Graphics, good. Um, it's well coded. I'm a little bit bored, though, to tell you the truth. Lovely as it is. could be a bit meatier. A good game by Psychnosis, but one of their um, off the production uh, run, I think. 
do 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 Boom. Helps if you know what you're doing, as you might have noticed, which I do not. We got seven coins of... Oh, I don't know how many coins we got. Seven of ten, does that say? Or 710? 710. Whoops, bend your legs. So this chap seems to be able to jump as far as possible without having any damage. Whoops, but he does get killed about spikes, which horses don't. Du, 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 du. I'm making up my own music now. These horses come through thick and fast. Don't know where they're going. They've got a bell under their chin though, or above them. I don't know what they're delivering, but there's nothing on board. When they arrive, I, the person's going to be disappointed. Here's your package, sir. Oh, someone's nicked it. Uh, and also the rider's nicked as well. He's gone. He's gone for a cup of tea or something. De -de 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 -de. I'm getting a bit bored of this music now. It's a pity you can't get this Leander guy to moonwalk or something. Da -da -da. De -de 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 -de. Right, where are we going? Oh, there's movement up there, this is it. It's a goblin or something up there. He's soon going to meet his death. Oh, Nicky. What's your favourite Psygnosis game of all time? Comment below. There's quite a lot to choose from, you know. More than I originally thought. There's a space game shooters, a puzzle platformers. There's loads. All of them exude quality. Very atmospheric, all of them. Very rarely they do a half assed game. They're normally full ass games. Is that a compliment or not? I'm not sure. It's supposed to be. Time is taken. They obviously had a graphics team and so forth. Time has been taken on these. I'm not sure some of the games shared the same engine. Probably. Why not, really? If you design a successful engine, why not do a few games? Nowadays, they um, milk games for all their worth with DLCs and add-ons and stuff, so uh, it's no different to that, is it? Boom! Right, we must be making progress here. Can we get up there? There's a cave there. What's that? Right, it's a cave in here. Let's go in. So you can see the similarities now. Now we're back onto this black and grey sort of uh, palette. And bats of death again. Hello, does anyone know where I'm supposed to go in here? I'm all nicely lit again. Would be nice if the character had been a bit darker in here, but uh, he does really stand out. He doesn't really blend into the background, but these, <laughs> as arrows come through again, but these are very, very minor gripes on what is a classic game. Good level design. Not too easy. Not too difficult. It's easy me saying not too difficult, but if you put in the time for this one, I, it's, e it's, it's a lot easier than a lot of the other Psygnosis games you put in the practice time. So if, if you want to start in one, it's this. If you want a quality game though, check out Shadow of the Beast, in particular Shadow of the Beast 2. Shadow of the Beast 1's okay, remember to go left, which I didn't on my original review. But uh, yeah. Right, let's head across the top. This seems to uh, be where the game wants us to go. Those bats kill me every time. Perhaps you can't kill them. Perhaps you need a different weapon for bats. A glob of cheese or something. Right. I don't know how many games use this, this platform going backward and forward. I think the first one I remember was uh, maybe Turmoil on the ZX Spectrum where you control Mick the Mechanic and have to make um, cars out of blobs of oil. Okay. I'm not sure we'll go too much further in this, you know. I've pretty much shown you all there is to see in this game. Style of gameplay. I haven't shown you the store, though. We haven't got to that. And I'm dead! Du -du 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 -du. Oh, there's the object. Is that the object? Well, no, it was a spider. What's the point of that? I don't know what this music is influenced by. It's a bit Elizabethan with a bit of, um, I don't know, a bit of computerised. As a block splits my head into again. And I've fallen the spikes again. 
and they fall on the spikes again. Well, uh, you know, I think we'll leave it there, people. So I hope you liked having at least a flavour of that. That was Leander on the Commodore Amiga, developed by Traveller's Tales and published by Psygnosis in 1991. Uh, thanks for watching as always, always appreciated. Please remember to rate, comment your thoughts below and subscribe. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.